I don't know where this whip came from, but it popped up in my recommendation, so I gave it a shot. And I'm just like, you know what? After two books of reading college romances, maybe it's time to read about Dead Bob Dom. My life is not main character material, but you know what? Apparently my name is. Hi guys! So for this video, I will be sharing with you guys every book that I read in the month of January. I think I read over five, uh, I think I read over 10 books this month. I'm going to be starting school very soon, like actually in a week. So oh, I probably won't have that much time to read because I need to split my attention with reading and studying. Oh my god, just thinking about it gives me so much stress. Let's forget about that for a minute and let's talk about the books that I read in the month of January. And I started this year with a series and I was so excited to start the series because I knew going into it that it was going to deal with a lot of real life issues. And this is the Rip Trilogy by Kennedy Ryan. So this entire series follows Bristol and grip bristol i i don't remember what she wants to be or what her job is but i think she manages stars she wants to be some like an agent i think i think that's what she is and grip is an up-and-coming hip-hop artist and in the prequel the first book you get to see them meet like eight years ago and it's before they actually achieved their goals and it's only in grip that you get to see you know Grip is already a celebrity and Bristol is um, in charge of him, uh, managing him. Basically, you get to see these two, oh my god, fall in love in the first book and just deal with real life issues. So Bristol is a white woman and Grip is black and you get to see them fall in love and just dealing with the public's opinion about them. It's so real and Kennedy Ryan does such a good job highlighting like racial issues in this series and this is why after I finished this series I felt so empty. You guys have to have to have to give this series a shot and honestly with each book it just gets so much better and the struggles that these characters face <laughs> Oh my god, just the emotional pain I went through reading this. And I can honestly say that Grip and Bristol are a couple that I will never doubt how much love they feel for each other. Like, it's, it's unconditional. And the connection between the two of them was so freaking deep. Maybe it's also the added like realisticness of this that just made everything a better experience reading. There was also another real life issue that Miss Kennedy Ryan brought into this series that is not about race. I don't want to say it because it might be a spoiler. I don't even know if it's a trigger warning. This series is just so real and it's one of the best series that I've ever read. I obviously rated this entire <laughs> everything five stars here. I mean, uh, <gasps> So after this emotional read, I read It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover and I made a reading log about this. Um, this book is... <laughs> How do I describe this without giving any spoilers? Mm, okay, I was interrupted but I'm back. I'm having a hard time finding the words to describe this book without spoiling much. But it's basically about Lily and she meets this guy, Ryle. He's a neurosurgeon. They're together, right? <laughs> oh my god. But there's a guy in Lily's past named atlas who comes back after many years and they see each other again so you have lily and then there's two guys ryle and atlas it really sounds like a love triangle but it's not like that i would tell you guys if you guys haven't already read it to look up the trigger warnings before actually diving into this one but if you're okay with the trigger warnings then go ahead and read this how do you describe this book without spoiling it and making it sound like it's gonna be something but it's not of simple terms there's lily and then there's dr ryle and then there's her first love atlas yeah that's how i'm gonna do it so this is it ends with us by colleen hoover after i read it ends with us i 
decided it was time to shift gears from heavy stuff and go back to college romances. <laughs> and so I read two books in the Blairwood University. I read book three first, which I'm gonna talk about. Yeah, so this is Kiss to Defy by Anna B. Doe. It, this is how it's like described on Kindle. It's a multicultural college sports romance. So we follow Ray and Zane. Ray is a figure skater and Zane is a hockey player for university. Ray is out to do really, really, really great things because she is training and she's practicing so that she can be qualified for the winter games. Y'all already know, like, this girl is <laughs> dedicated. And this entire book is just her working towards winter games, but also once she meets Zane, it's like, love is in the air. What is the plot? That's a good question. What is the plot of this book? Basically, what we have is Ray is new to this university. She's, I think she's been homeschooled her entire life because her dad wants her to focus on figure skating. But Ray is like, I really do want to try to live like a college student for once in my life. I will make it work. I will balance a hair in my mouth. I will balance the two schoolwork and also my figure skating. She's going to use like one semester in this school to prove to her dad she's able to balance the two. What she didn't realize was that Zane's gonna be thrown into this and she's going to have to balance three things love, school, and figure skating. And with Zane, he has always been focused on hockey. Like you also find out there's something that he's just not telling anyone and it has to do with his past. It really sounds like it's going to be so mysterious, but it really isn't. There's just a lot of internal struggles with his character and the book is pretty much like that. I rated this book four stars, 4.5, but just going down to four stars on Goodreads. Uh, it was cute, it was a cute romance. I really did love Ray's character. Oh my God, if only I had half of her determination. And then after reading this one, I read the fourth book in this series. Fourth one is Kiss to Remember. And I was really excited to read this one because you know me and second chance romance. Let me tell you, I was so disappointed with this one because there was so much back and forth and like, I just wasn't feeling this one. But in case you guys wanna know what this one is about, this one follows Grace and Trent. The description for this book on Kindle is that it's a forbidden romance. Forbidden because when Grace sees Trent, she realizes that he has a girlfriend. And there's this whole story, basically this whole past thing where Grace has his first love and I forgot his name. They were together, but then one day he disappears without a trace and Grace has been trying to come to terms with it and move on, but she's constantly thinking about her past lover. And then one day on campus, she bumps into Trent and sees his face and it's like, you look like my past lover. And before she even got to ask any questions, finds out that he has a girlfriend. It appears that they have grown up together. There's just so much forbidden aspect to it, but it just felt lacking. It wasn't my favorite second chance romance. I mean, it wasn't my favorite forbidden romance. I just didn't believe the love between Grace and Trent like that. They read this book to find out, you know, what happened to these two. Do they end up together? Is Trent really the past lover? Keep you guessing, but it just wasn't my favorite. And so I rated this 3.7, so it's four stars. I bumped it to four because it wasn't a three. It just wasn't exactly a four. So after I read this one, I was going to read the first book in this series because I am interested in the other characters, like the friends of theirs, but I was like, you know what? I need a break from this series. I don't know where this book came from, but it popped up in my recommendation. So I gave it a shot. And I'm just like, you know what? After two books of reading college romances, maybe it's time to read about Dead Bob Dom. So I read this one. <laughs> this is Logan and it's the first book of the Dad Bob Dom series. And what I noticed is that there's four books in this and each book is written by a different author. I don't even know what came over, but I was just like, oh my God, what is this? I'm intrigued. So I read it and let me tell you, this is definitely a more fast paced book. It is kind of realistic because it deals with 
body shape issues but it's not like to the extent where like it's the main plot but basically in this first book it introduces these four friends who are in the is it bdsm i don't know if it's bdsm or it's just like doms and subs but these four best friends they do this camping trip and they they're talking about their own marriage and like their own partners years after being doms does that make any sense and they uh realize their sex lives are just not spicy anymore so they come up with this challenge and it's basically working on their marriage or just whatever goals they have to set for themselves they're gonna meet back in a year and see if they completed their challenge or not so with logan he wants to pass it up with his wife so logan is married to felicity and they have two kids together how i would describe this book is that it's like the epilogues and it actually throws the struggles of marriage and what it's like after having kids and it's just the stress of parenthood but also keeping it spicy in bed the changes that they went through in, their, in terms of their body it's like adulthood but that's what the series is i wasn't expecting the story to go in that direction but you know what i'm like i don't regret it but i didn't want to read this entire series after this one i read ray and it's the third book in this dad bod dom that is so hard to say it's written by Marin smith this one look i really did like ray in the first book his goal his challenge was to lose weight i think that was his challenge and just improve his marriage but in ray's book i was so annoyed i wrote this on goodreads because i don't really know how else to really talk about this but in this one i just said like there's this one scene in this and it's a shower scene it was super hot and because of that like i really enjoyed the first half of his book but then the second half i just i found myself rolling my eyes a lot because ali ray's wife was just annoying me okay look i would have rated this book a lot lower if it weren't for ray ray was all about communication don't keep it to yourself this is a marriage mm-hmm mm -hmm. and we have to communicate you have to talk to me how else would i understand what you're going through if you don't speak it but ali was a lot of times she's just in her head and i just feel like ali was trying to be bad but it just wasn't working not a book that i would reread i don't see myself actually completing this series so yeah this is like my end of the journey for me in this dad bod dad bod dom journey like that was the end did i even give you guys like the plot of this book i don't know just feel like there's really no plot except for them finding ways to spark up their marriage moving on after reading these two i felt like it was time to go back into the whole seriousness i decided to read long shot which is the first book of the hoop series by kennedy ryan let me tell you because after reading grip kennedy ryan has just become that author where i'm just gravitating towards her books i know she's out to deliver quality content in this one my god so much happened so much go check the trigger warnings in this one we are following august and iris when august and iris first met iris was dating another basketball player i don't think i'm spoiling it because it does say in the synopsis iris kissed a fraud <laughs> not a frog a fraud and it's basically iris being in a relationship that she doesn't even want to be in after realizing like what this guy <laughs> disgusting character is like what he whatever he is and oh my god this, reading this one i was getting so scared for iris man I'm, I'm reading a lot of heavy books this month all i'm going to say is female empowerment and just abuse domestic violence so i don't really know how else to say except for i'm just so proud of iris but i'm also so scared for her half the time when i was reading this and i'm just so grateful that she had august and also in this book we got to meet iris's cousin lo and i'm so excited to read her book because she sounds so badass just thinking about reading her and keenan's love story oh my god i can never really tell it's gonna be steamy but yeah so we have august who is an nba player and we have iris who wanted to be a sports agent i think and her goal didn't work out because of this disgusting 
man that she unfortunately got into a relationship with. Yeah, five stars. After reading Long Shot, I decided to read Block Shot. But, but I did not finish it and I put that on hold because I wanted to read another book. Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren. I did a reading vlog on this. Another one. <laughs> this is so fresh in my mind, by the way, because I didn't read this book that long ago, but I'm struggling to remember. Oh yeah, so this one is about Macy and Elliot. It deals with past and present. In present day, she is with another man called Sean. In her past, this boy named Elliot, you know, they were friends until one day something happened between the two of them that caused her to leave how many years was that into the future for like i did the whole math in my head already well, you know what a lot of years passed and they finally see each other again in present time the book is just pretty much past present past present past present until the very end i highly recommend you guys go and read this one i cried my eyes were swollen for like a good three days after reading this it was definitely, you know, a highlight of my week. But yes, go and read this book. You won't regret it. Second chance romance at its best. After I read Love and Other Words, I needed to, you know, bring myself back, stabilize myself. So I decided to go back to college sports romance and read Off the Bench, which is the fourth book of the U of J series by Alice's. And let me tell you, this is one of my favorite series. I just love the first three books. I'm, I'm just gonna add it in here. Like that's the series I'm currently rereading. This is my last book on the list that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. But this one is the fourth book and it follows CK and Quinn. These two characters you actually got to meet in the first three books, which are about K, not me, but Kayla and Mason. AKA Skittles and Caveman, AKA K and Mace. There's like some things about reading a book that has your name in it, <laughs> and you're the main character. My life is not main character material, but you know what? Apparently, my name is. Yeah, oh my god, going back to this book. So, this one is Off the Bench, and it is about CK and Quinn. So CK is nerd. He struggles with his self-esteem because he was bullied in high school. But once he got into college and he got to meet K, not me, once again, not me, but K and being part of this friend group, he's not changed. Sometimes in the back of his head, he still like doesn't think highly of himself. It still took time for him to realize and come to terms with the fact that he's no longer who he was. And a big part of that is Quinn because Quinn has always had a crush on CK, but CK didn't realize that everyone knew it but him. That's because he doesn't see himself as good enough to actually get a cheerleader. Quinn is a cheerleader and so he just doesn't see it but he also feels something for Quinn he just didn't do anything about it because he doesn't see himself like good enough which CK you are so yeah this off the bench is about CK and Quinn their love story they're roommates by the way so it's forced proximity friends to lovers and it's all college sports but he doesn't play sports Go read this book. I rated this book four stars. I thought I would rate this higher, but apparently I just wasn't feeling this as much as the first three books. Yeah, that's the end of this video. I will be back with another reading vlog hopefully soon, but your girl got school now and it's... Oh my god, I don't think about it. Mm -mm. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this January book wrap-up. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!